Welcome to GWA Physics, and this problem that we're going to work today is, is a wheel and axle machine. And in the previous unit, when we were talking about simple machines, a wheel and axle is one of the six simple machines that we had to solve for mechanical advantage, work in and work out, and so on. And we're going to go through this slow and easy and see if we can nail down all the things that tend to be pitfalls in these kinds of problems. First of all, on a wheel and axle machine, you may not see the wheel because sometimes all you see is a handle. But like this uh, apparatus here, or like a pencil sharpener, for example, as you turn the handle, you also turn the axle. And so the wheel is the handle and the axle is the shaft that the rope seems to be tie, uh, wrapping up on. So first of all, we want to try to solve for the mechanical advantage. Now, there's a special mechanical advantage, which we list as MA, and that is the radius of the wheel divided by the radius of the axle. And if we solve for that, that will show us the mechanical advantage, or how many times easier it is to pull this bucket up the distance of 1.2 meters using the machine as opposed to having to pull it all the way up by hand. And so right away you should see that the wheel's radius is the length of the handle, which is 24 centimeters, and the radius of the axle is 3 centimeters. So the mechanical advantage for this machine is 8. So it should be eight times farther. Now, if you remember our definition for simple machines, it says a lesser force over a longer distance. Well, once you solve for the mechanical advantage, you can turn around and plug that into the sentence and say it's going to be eight times lesser force over an eight times longer distance. So we're going to expect to have to move that handle eight times farther, but we're gonna be able to do it with a force that's eight times less. So let's suppose, let's make this easy. Let's say that the bucket is 80 Newtons. It has a weight of 80 Newtons because it's got a certain amount of water in it like that right there. Well, the other two mechanical advantage formulas that we learned was that the mechanical advantage is equal to FR over FE, which are the the weight of the object and the force that we need to apply, and we have the mechanical advantage that says that DE over DR are going to be a way of solving for that, that mechanical advantage as well. Well, once we know that this is 8 from what we did here, then we can substitute the 8 in here, and we can substitute the 8 in here. So, Right away, you should see that we got a mechanical advantage of 8. We said that the bucket has a weight of 80 newtons. So 80 newtons here, and we have no idea what the force is initially, but we know that the mechanical advantage is 8. And you remember that I said in, in each of these situations, put that mechanical advantage over 1 so you can take advantage of your algebra. And you're going to see that this is going to be 8x is equal to 80. And when you solve for x, or the unknown value, you're going to find out that the force we need to apply here is only 8 newtons. Or excuse me, not 8 newtons, 10 newtons. Because 10 is, is 8 times less than 80. Okay? And then, if, if we're trying to move this thing 1.2 meters, we've got 8 over 1 is equal to... 1.2 meters over x, and so we're going to cross multiply, and 8 times 1.2 is 9.6, so x is equal to 9.6 meters. So we're going to have to turn that handle 9.6 meters in order to get the bucket to just rise 1.2 meters. Now, in class, I try to get the students to see how many revolutions do we need to turn the handle. Well, a revolution is based on 
the circumference of the axle or the circumference of the wheel. Let's do the circumference of the axle. The circumference is equal to 2 pi r, which is 6.28 times 3, and that should be, I believe it's 18.84. 18.84, but that's centimeters, okay? So if I want to convert, we have to be in like units, so I'm going to make this um, 120 centimeters. And so now I'm trying to figure out if one revolution is going to take up 18.84 inches or centimeters of string around the axle, how many times do I have to turn it to get all 120 centimeters on the axle? And to do that, we're going to divide. We have 120 divided by 18.84 and that shows me that 6.37 revolutions will, uh, if you turn that handle, 6.37 revolutions, you'll be able to draw up that 1.2 meters of string onto the axle, pulling the bucket the distance at the same time. Questions about that problem, please see me, and thank you for watching.